welcome back to IC trading concept how are you all I am very fine thanks for joining over here so in this video I would like, like, like to talk about the PMI news uh, today was the Friday and we had a news at 8 30 so I would love to talk about the price action over here uh, it's in my opinion this is a high resistance we could run after 8 30 news we got all day of school little bit consolidated so i will explain two entries at the same time i will talk about the price action how i read the price so this is the 15 minute chart and you can see when price went higher it has made relatively equal highs after that it came lower what did it came to this 15 minute parallelogram okay so i will go to one minute chart now and don't forget about this 15 minute parallelogram okay so i'm in 50 minute i mean sorry one minute chart and this is the relatively equal highs i had only this buy side liquidity price went lower why did it came to this 50 minute parallel gap and you can see it has actually rejected from the consequent and cosmic okay so this is the 8 30 i mean the news time that was the news time before 8 30 when price came here it was i mean it went higher a little bit then it went lower when it went lower one more time what it has done it has taken the liquidity over here so let me mark the liquidity so liquidity has been taken over there though majority of the liquidity has taken by that run after that i was waiting from one minute chart and i saw this liquidity has taken and market has been shifted over there so that was the market that the shift before the news okay so after shifting the market, uh, there was the farewell gap. I would love to mark that farewell gap as well. So this is the farewell gap. Now, if you would love to mark that farewell gap, that is fine. There is nothing wrong with that. But I would love to mark the inversion farewell gap. I mean, this farewell gap. When price went higher, it tried. I mean, it went lower. It failed to take that low. Okay. So you can say this is a low, but in my opinion that's not a swing low that should be marked as a liquidity taken okay so this is the inversion curve lookup i will go for that inversion curve lookup so you can see this is the inversion curve lookup and price went lower one more time came to this curve lookup okay before 8 30 news price came last time for the curve lookup and it has taken this relatively equal lows when I have seen uh, it has taken this relatively equal lows, that means the liquidity before the news, I got confident that market will go higher and how long it can go, it will come to this buy side liquidity. Before, I mean, this is the extreme buy side liquidity from the 15 minute chart. So I would love to mark the liquidity from one minute chart. So from one minute chart, that is relatively equal highs, that is also the obvious buy side liquidity. Okay. So, if you would love to take your entry over here, that should be your target. There is no other buy side liquid. I didn't see any other relatively equal highs except this one. That is more obvious. So, I believe market will take that buy side liquidity. So, actually, I have taken a uh, entry over here at my personal account, something like that. So, that was a nice trade over there. After that, price went higher. So, I would love to go one more time to 50 major so from 15 minute chart you can see this is the new candle so over there i got another 15 minute parallel gap and this is the last parallel gap okay so i would love to mark this one as my 15 minute parallel gap and remember this is the last parallel gap okay so i'll go to one minute chart one more time so price went higher why did it came to this consequent encouragement of the hourly week and uh, that's different matter i don't want to talk about here okay? so when price came here it went lower that was consolidation finally price came to this 50 meet parallel gap when it came here i was expecting that this will hold the price and price will go higher one more time so it came here i didn't take any entry over here but over here i mean the whole price action this is very difficult to read hi i will i will say you that please avoid this setup okay this session just avoid it if you ask me why 
I'm not expecting, I mean, would love to take any kind of sell over here. The reason is I don't have any uh, sales and liquidity. That's why I'm not interested to take sell, but I'm interested to take buy. Look at the price action over here. This low and when price come here, okay, this low has made relatively equal lows. So that should be the sell side. I mean, just let me mark it as the sell side liquidity over here, okay. So that is the sell side liquidity. So price came here. I wasn't sure how long it will go. So I don't see this one as a entry opportunity. Price went lower. It has taken this sell side liquidity. Okay. So this sell side liquidity has been taken. Then price went higher. There was no market structure shift with the displacement. So this is not the displacement. Okay. Price went lower on time. Where did it came? It has met relatively equal lows over here. See this low and that low. They are relatively equal lows. Okay. So price has met and the relatively equal lows. When a little bit higher, came lower and take that low a one more time. It has taken liquidity. I told you that I'm not expecting lower run or I'm not expecting to take my sell as I don't have any liquidity below this market. So I'm not interested to take sell. When price came here, price went higher. When it went higher, there was no, no setup. Now there was uh, one setup about the inversion parabola from there. And that is a little difficult for me to explain and for you to understand. That's why I'm not explaining the inversion parabola entry. But uh, I, I saw this, uh, I mean, inversion parabola cap. You have to believe me, okay? So price went higher on time and when it come here and met relatively equal highs. Okay, see that high and that, that are relatively equal highs. Now I'm going to remove this buy side liquidity and I got this equal highs as my buy side liquidity. So that high and that high, they're relatively equal highs. Price went lower. This is the, I mean, lunch hour. You can see the lunch hour consolidation. Price come here one more time, made that relatively equal highs more stronger by that run. Okay. So I have tweeted this thing uh, beforehand that please just mark the buy side liquidity. And price came one more time to this 50 minute parabola cap here. Okay. So there was the setup for the PM session. I took that entry and I have uploaded this video to my Twitter and everything was beforehand. Okay. So that was the liquidity taken. And I got the market structure sheet over here. That is the market structure sheet. There was the fabric cap over here. Okay. So I will mark this one as my fabric cap. This is the fabric cap. And I'm not willing to mark this one because this is at the level of the liquidity. Now I have marked the extreme one, but if you see, we have relatively equal lows over here. That low this low this low all of them are relatively equal lows so this parallel cup is at the level of the liquidity so i believe market won't go over there that's why i took my edge over there that i have marked as my breakaway cap and when i take my entry to that specific candle i put my stop loss below the breakaway cap because though i was believing that market won't come here but i was over how uh, hard to say that i mean so conservative so i put my stop loss below here if market would love to come here i would be stopped out and my target will be there just let me mark the target so if i took my entry over here my stop loss was over here and that was my target okay and from the five minute chart i i got this uh five minute last fab look up so I actually marked that fable cap to take my partial. Okay. So I took my partial over there. Now why I went to uh to five I mean the sorry the five minute chart. The reason was from one minute chart that high was too too near to my entry point. So I, I didn't want to take my partial over there. I saw on fable cap from one minute chart over there, but it has been traded over there and this swing high also not uh, what to say i mean so clean swing high so i had no place to take my partial now in that case i actually marked the five minute fabric there was another way to 
mark the fab lookup i mean if i would love to mark my fab lookup then i could mark it like that way from here to here and this one so that is actually the standard deviation in that case i could mark minus one as my liquidity or partial technique but i saw this is a level where i have nothing price price shouldn't stop over here to that standard deviation now this is standard deviation this is also at the level where i have nothing because i have the price action over here that is why i went to five minute chart and i take a partial over there and then finally price went lower i took my partial over there then i closed my trade because it was just after four so this was two entry if you don't want to trade the news entry and i actually don't recommend to take that entry because this is the news entry and this is kind of gambling okay so i don't recommend to take that entry but this entry was perfect now if you just mark the handle how many handle was over there it was near about 27 handle so it's not bad if you would take that entry that's perfect okay so if i just go to my twitter this is for confirmation that this was not before i mean hindsight okay so i have actually marked this one as my buy side liquidity taken and i have uploaded the entry video over here if you just if you are with me to my twitter you can see the trade over there okay so that's all for the friday price action i guess you guys will understand something from here and uh, so if you're new you can subscribe to my channel you can give me a thumbs up if you like my video thank you guys see you bye bye